、ウェルカムツーハイパースピードメディア YouTube チャンネル。Okay, guys, welcome back to Hyperspeed Media. In this video, we're going to install a new standalone ECU into the manual swap Miata. So, I've already taken the ECU out, the old ECU. It's located right here under the dash. Now, it all depends on the different year and model that of your car, but some and Some、uh, cars up in the dash, and some other Miatas is actually in the back right there behind the passenger seat. So it depends on the year of the car.、Uh, the ECU that I'm going to put on this car is called a、uh, Brush EFI. They're standalone, similar to Mega Squirt, a lot cheaper, and it works just as good or even better than Mega Squirt. It even has an electronic throttle control.、Um, Have a lot of great stuff on there 16 tables, 16 fuel map tables, 16 ignition tables, 16、um, boost controller tables, all kinds of good stuff on this. A lot of just go to their website, check it out, all the benefits of having a standalone on, onto your car. And you could delete a lot of stuff on the engine bay because you're not using those sensors. So, with this car, since I swapped from an automatic transmission into a manual,、um, If I was to get it up and running, I would need a、uh, manual ECU with the immobilizer and all that stuff. It's just a lot of headache, so it's better for me to swap in a standalone and then、uh, clear out some of the sensor and get rid of all the、uh, check engine light and all that good stuff. A lot of emission stuff is going to take, I'm going to remove all the emission stuff, all of it out of the car. So now let's take a look at the ECU itself. Okay, now let's take a look at the、uh, ECU. So, this is a stock ECU, and that's the case for it. So, basically, come with it, you take four, at least for mine, because it's different from each one of them. But at least for mine, you just have to take the cover off of that, take the stock ECU off of it, and put the,、um, the Rush EFI in here. So, for my version, Is the older version, so it's slightly different from the more newer ones. So, this one I have to wire it up and solder up the map sensor. And, and,、uh, and then I put it back into this case、so、with the map sensor harness sticking out and the USB wire connected. So, it's going to be different from most of the newer Rush EFI ECU, but,、um, but it's quite simple. You mount it back into the The、um, case, and then you mount it straight into the car. And then you wire it up a <clears throat> vacuum line from the engine into the map sensor right here. Now, let's take a look at the car. So, I already looped this. So, I have a vacuum line that I routed right into the firewall. <clears throat> Of the engine bay. So I took out this old connector、uh, cruise control. I took that out. So I loop in this vacuum line into there. Kind of dangling out here where the ECU lies. So next I'm just going to connect the wire right here for the ECU. Now some of the Rush EFI ECU, you could just Clip on a new pin. You, you open up this、uh, connector and clip on a new pin, and that will enable some of the、uh, wiring for the ECU. And so, so it's like a much smoother installation if you do that. So, you just got to check to see what ECU you have and what you must do to install it. So, it varies on、uh, types of ECU that you buy from Rush EFI. And then、uh, you just install it back. And put in a, a bass tune. Okay, so now here's where Rush EFI is a game changer. And this is why I love Rush EFI. First of all, they got a website with all the tune listed on their website. And the cool thing about their website is that they created their website where it emulates Tuner Studio. So all the tune and everything you can look straight up. 
at the website and you can ask questions in the forums and everything to get everything dialed down for your tune and your setup. So for example, here's my tune that I upload to the website. So if I click on my tune, so basically their whole website, it's like an emulation of Tuner Studio. It has all the buttons, just like Tuner Studio you would have. And you can see all the tuning from all the different users that uploaded their tune to the website. And basically you could pinpoint and find out what's the problem with your car. So you could basically copy and paste some of the um, setting from other user and fix everything through their forum and website. So it's just a big community of all these engineers and tuners for to get for this ECU to get it up and running. So that's what I love about this website. Go ahead and and check it out, uh, uh, rushefi.com. And if you head to Tuna Studio, right here is Tuna Studio. As you can see, all the top tabs are exactly the same as the website. So you could dial in exactly the way you want it. And you could kind of discuss what's going on and pinpoint the problem of getting your car up and running. So that's why I love Rush EFI. I wish this they have something similar to this to Megasword, but they don't. But that's why I recommend Rush, Rush EFI from now on. Of course, it's a lot cheaper too, so I do recommend this product a lot. Now let's get it installed and get the car started. Okay, so everything is, is installed. Vacuum lines loop in there, back into the, the firewall, through the firewall, to the map sensor connected to the ECU. And the laptop is connected through Tuner Studio, through a USB wire. Connected right here. Let it dangle there in just a minute. A base tune is, is put on there. And I had to get a lot of uh, information from a lot of help from a lot of friends just to get this dialed in. But the engine should start right now. It's going to be a cold start. Let me see if it start up. There you go. It's pretty rough. I got to dial down this tune. Um, it is starting running. It's a cold startup. It took me like three tries, so it's uh, it's running now. Idling. It should stay on idle after I lay lay off the gas a little bit. Let me see. Okay, hesitating a little bit. So I gotta adjust the idle to make sure it's good. But um, let me see. It's coming down a little bit. About yeah, about a thousand RPM. Okay, let's take a look at the Tuna Studio. I don't know if the camera shows this. Okay. Tuna Studio is connected. We got an RPM, coolant temperature, throttle position sensor, map is reading, ignition timing is reading, uh, battery voltage, air and fuel. I had to get the uh, uh, wideband for this to work correctly. I'm waiting for some parts, and I have to install um, the uh, air temp sensor. So everything else should be good. Just gotta install, waiting for some parts, and install the rest of the stuff. So next thing I'm gonna do is probably delete the mass airflow sensor and to put a, like a 45 degree angle um, like connector right here, so I could get a cold air intake right here. So I don't need the math air sensor anymore. But eventually that's my goal next is to do a little 45 degree bend here. Again, I want to thank uh, Stefan for helping me get this up and running. And, and, uh, and also Jesse for his help also at uh, Beer, Motors, Beer Money Motorsport. Auto to manual swap is fully complete now. And um, Probably just do some basic maintenance on the car right after that and get it dialed down and do some runs on it. 
but that's it for this video i hope you guys like it and learn a little bit about rough a rush efi and go ahead and and uh, sign up for their forum and get connected to co the community and uh, if you have any question go ahead and ask the question on their uh, forum and there's lots of people that can help you from there i'm pretty new to all this stuff um, i don't know everything about it but that's what i did and i got it up and running and i want to thank those guys to help me again so can't recommend this product enough rush efi is the way to go i think that's the future instead of mega squirt but that's just my opinion but what do you guys think post some comment below and let me know what you guys think see y'all on the next video Please subscribe to Hyper Speed Media YouTube channel.